Greetings and welcome to a new video. In this video, I will talk about two things. First of all, I will introduce you to the newly released SAP Remover 64, a completely free tool that you can use to dual boot iOS 11.4.1 through any version of iOS 15 using the latest available SAP. And secondly, we will talk about the progress for iOS 16.4 jailbreak for both Checkrain and Palerain. So you'll get this complete guide on how to use SAP Remover 64 at the official GitHub page, as you can see it right here. The developer tested it on iPhone 6s, but you can use it on iPhone 7 and iPhone SE as well. I will talk about the caveats first. So it will not work on 16 GB devices because there will be two iOS installations. Secondly, you will have to use an open Wi-Fi network. Otherwise, it will always show incorrect password. Face ID, passcode and touch ID will not work. You will always have a null passcode, meaning any input should be accepted if it asks for a passcode. Also, the first boot, the very first boot with the progress bar can take up to one hour. So be patient there. Hey, if you check out the guide, it is pretty straightforward. First of all, you will have to download the IPSW for the version you want to dual boot and then you will have to extract it. You can just rename it to dot zip and then extract it. Then you will have to run the ASR command to create an ASR image. Of course guys, to use these commands, you will need the binaries such as the first command will need the ASR64 binary. Secondly, you will have to run the SSH RAM disk using the SSH RD script as you can see it right here. I have already made a guide on how to use the SSH RD. I will link it in the description for you. And then while inside the SSH RAM disk, you'll have to run all these commands that are listed here one by one. Finally, you will have to reboot the device by using these commands. Next guys, you will have to create boot files by using these commands one by one. Of course, you will need the binaries for IMG4 tool, IMG4, the Gester, iBoot64 patcher, like so, all right? Next, you need the SAP Remover64.c. You can get it from here, all right? Once done, the booting phase comes. So first of all, use Gester and then use iRecovery. Again, as you can see, the iRecovery binary is required. Remember the very first boot can take up to one hour. So please be patient there. This should work on Mac OS, but with the right binaries, it should also work on Linux. Also guys, as you can see, you will have the boot.sh to automate the boot process for you inside the scripts folder as you can see it right here remember you will have to run all these commands inside the ipsw folder that you have extracted the required binaries will have to be moved to the bins folder and then you will run all these commands so guys it is a fun little project that you can try on a spare device next guys let's talk about the progress update for iOS 16.4 jailbreak so as you can see, we have new updates to the Pungu OS branch of Checkrain, as you can see it right here for March 25th. Now, as you can see, we have two new commits to the Pungu OS branch of Checkrain. Most importantly, the Checkrain team got the shell working on iOS 16.4 RC. This is indeed 16.4 RC, as you can see the Xeno version right here. 8796 so this is indeed iOS 16.4 as you can see it right here also in this screenshot seeing all the progress for Checkrain we can speculate that a new version of Checkrain will definitely be released but yes it will be rootless now guys talking about the latest progress for iOS 16.4 jailbreak for pale rain we can see some progress right here so the fixes are being made to support iOS 16.4, as you can see it right here. The jailbreak in it also has some updates so that to fix the root FS mounting issue on iOS 16.4. That's all for this video. 
if i have anything worth sharing i will definitely do it with you i will see you in a new video goodbye and take care